Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speculation and discussion video. So today we're going to be talking about the upcoming expansion pack that we're supposed to see sometime between now and December. A lot of people are speculating it will come out in November, so I don't think we're going to learn anything else just yet, but maybe in October we'll hear some more stuff, at least fingers crossed, because right now with the roadmap, it really left a lot of people just guessing. And so yeah, a lot of people have been wondering what's going to come in this pack. I did do another video where I talked about like some of the content we might see, like townhouses, real estate, the option to rent a home, the option to own two homes. I talked about a lot of stuff like that. And over on the forums, there's actually a poll that happened where people voted for the city that they want to see with this new expansion. I feel like it's already like a dead giveaway that it's 100% going to be a city world. And that's what everyone else is thinking too. Like, I don't think it would be anything else other than a city world. I would be really, really surprised if it's not. So before we get into the poll, let's do our notification shout out because this actually kind of starts off the discussion. I do want to talk about this a little bit. So this isn't just like a random comment. This definitely goes with today's video. So Crystal Keeper says, hustle and bustle is a cinema's term of living in a city. So I think it's great. We may actually be getting another one. That is interesting about the car in the noodles. Very sneaky if that is a hint. Okay, just to kind of like you know, talk about that for a minute if you don't know what they're referring to. In the roadmap, there is a noodle dish that looks like pad thai and people have found the word cars like written in the noodles, which like maybe it's nothing, but like it was just kind of weird that that was in there. So then it says here, we are going to definitely get cars eventually. There was a sim guru that said years ago that if you see horses added to the game, then cars aren't far behind. I did actually cover that in previous videos. This is because the mechanics to add horses is the same for cars. I also noticed this time with horses, they added them being able to go into the barns. So I'm expecting for the first time ever for cars to be able to go into the garages. That is a really good point. So thank you so much for your comment, Crystal Keeper. Let's talk about that a little bit. So yes, I did do videos talking about these tweets from Simgurus from a long time ago before horses even were being worked on. They were actually talking about how difficult horses are to put in the game. And so for a long time, we thought it was unlikely. You know, we kind of thought that wouldn't happen in The Sims 4. Then we got horses. And then it brought up a lot of talk about cars. And yes, I do think cars are coming. I think horses is a dead giveaway for that. So I absolutely think we're getting cars. It's just about when. And this expansion pack has got people thinking, oh my goodness, what if we're getting cars? I did mention it and I was like, okay, I feel like it's unlikely. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like, oh my God, maybe it's not unlikely. Can you guys imagine a world where we have cars? by the end of this year. And then we're, we got two things that we thought would never come to The Sims 4, horses and cars. Also infants. We never really thought that would be a thing either. Well, we never thought like better babies would ever come. We hoped and begged for them forever. And then they did the unthinkable they gave us a whole new life stage of better babies. I think the fact that they made it so the horses can go into the barns is actually a very good hint towards cars being able to go into garages. I would love that. I feel like so many people build garages already when they do houses and it would just be so nice if a car could actually drive into there. And in the behind the sims, there was cars honking. I said this already in another video, but there was like car noises, which could indicate two things or both, a city world or car cars or both combined. So I definitely think it has to be a city world then. Like it's just, you know, too many hints going around for that. So let's go ahead and get into this poll. So this poll comes from Kath. What new city would you want? San Mishuno is supposed to be a fusion of Asian and American. If the new EP has a city, what do you hope for? Okay. So what new city would you want? Chinese city, Indian city, Bangkok, Hanoi, Seoul, Western Europe, Scandinavian, West African, East African, and then South American. So it looks like Scandinavian actually won, which I was going to say that would actually be really cool to see. And then coming in second place is Western Europe. I'm actually surprised at that because I've seen a lot of people say they want some sort of African city. So there's West African and East African. West African did win. I do think this would look really beautiful. I feel like all the ones that got the most votes would be the most beautiful and be the ones that I'm most interested in as well. An Indian city would be pretty cool as well though. Okay, so I wanted to actually pull up some photos. I went ahead and searched Scandinavian city and this is what we see here. So this would be so different and cool to be honest, you guys. Like I just feel like it would be nothing like we've ever seen. Is it reminding you guys of, of anything? I don't really think so. Am I crazy? Wait. Is there something in The Sims that's Scandinavian? Am I completely like overlooking a world that we've gotten? Now I'm second guessing myself. I feel like we have so many and I'm just like, wait, 
Is there something? I don't know. But either way, like we, we don't have a city that's Scandinavian. And I feel like that would be so different and so cool. Like imagine buildings like this in like where it's like this busy city. And then a West Africa city. This I feel like would be very different from San Myshuno, honestly, and still have that like big, busy city feel. Oh my god, there's like whole YouTube videos. Oh my gosh. Now I want to like go watch YouTube videos of different areas of the world, like different cities in different areas of the world, and just look at the vibes of them all. Because I feel like there's not enough photos for me to really like get the vibe. But I do think this is like very much a city vibe that I could see them going for. So I wouldn't be surprised. Western Europe. Again, I'm just typing Western, like I'm just typing the place and then putting city. So I do want to clarify that if anything is popping up that you feel like doesn't look like the city of that specific place, blame Google. Because obviously I don't know how every place in the world looks and <laughs> so yeah, I just want to put that out there. Oh my god, look at this. <gasps> okay, that is freaking stunning. And then look at this. Again, this would be very, very different to me to have a city vibe like the Western Europe and then the Scandinavian just would be a very different vibe in a city form. Oh, this actually looks pretty different from the pictures that came up when I typed West African city. So this is East African city and there is also a video. So now I feel like I want to go watch that. That looks beautiful. This is saying it's the... Paris of East Africa. And look at this. Look at all the buildings. I want to see a city world that just has like, I just want new apartments. Like I want them to function differently. I want to see like super high rise ones. Oh my goodness. Okay. I also decided to search Indian city and this would actually be really cool too. Again, very different from San Mishino, like completely, completely, completely different. Oh my God, what if we got like new transportation? Like I always wanna see, oh my goodness, if we get cars, like I really also want like things like this, like I want buses or just some sort of way to travel. Comment down below what city you want to see the most from these. Maybe some of you guys want the ones that were the least voted for. I'm really surprised that this one only got 1%, like literally one vote. Obviously, there was only 77 votes and I don't think you can vote anymore. It would have been cool if I did this video, like when the voting was still happening and then you could go vote after this video and then I would be curious to see like how these results would change. This just kind of inspired me to make a poll and then do a video and tell and like you know put the link to the poll for like tons of different things would you guys like that i feel like that could actually be a fun little series that i do i never thought to do that before but i do think that would be a really fun way to see what you guys want to see the most like even polls for packs like different packs you guys want to see you know i think that'd be super duper fun but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here if you guys would like to see a city that's not even listed here comment down below explain why i want to know and yeah with that said i'm gonna wrap this up here i hope you all enjoyed it because you're having an amazing day and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys